Grim days off the beaches of New York City and Long Island. Four dead and three more missing in the ocean since Friday. Helicopters and boats scour the coastline, expecting the bodies of the missing to surface. The family of a 10-year-old girl kept vigil after she disappeared in the water Saturday. God bless her. Witnesses say lifeguards were too preoccupied with another rescue to react. Lifeguards were just standing there. Three lifeguards were just standing there, and they didn't do anything about it. And my sister's yelling and screaming, hysterical crying, telling them, please, the little girls, there's kids drowning. There were two kids drowning. They took one out by the time they noticed that they the noticed that the, the girl was gone. She was just gone. It was too late. Three times she did it. She was yelling, she was telling them, look, she's drowning, she's drowning. And they weren't paying attention. The last time her little arm came up and that's why I saw it and then she just disappeared. Red flags dot large portions of the beach here at Coney Island, warning people to stay out of the water. Lifeguards have had to perform multiple rescues here. Some parts of the beach remain open and parents are laying down strict rules for their children. Not above their waist, no way. I think it's kind of scary. Looks pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, only my leg. That's because I didn't want to get carried over because of the waves. Offshore storms were causing the unusually rough surf and rip currents. Lifeguards are reminding swimmers not to fight against rip currents by trying to swim against them directly back toward shore. Instead, swim parallel to the beach line, out of the current, then back to shore. Ted Chaffrey, the Associated Press, Coney Island, New York.